What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series and in this episode we will set up the civilian mass AI movement and animations. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is create a state tree. So yes, mass AI entities use state trees instead of behavioral trees as we have used past, you know, in other tutorials and series like actors, okay? but they're pretty similar in many ways. So let's go into the blueprints folder and open up civilians. And on there is where we're gonna go ahead and create this state tree asset, okay? So let's go and open up this, right click, go to the artificial intelligence section, and we'll just create a state tree. So we will uh, basically choose the mass behavior um, class and call this something as ST as for state tree underscore um, mass AI uh, and that's it. let's go ahead and open this up so as you can see the first difference is that we don't have a graph like we do with behavior trees right we have this kind of blocks that we add into each other then we you know have this state tree properties uh, panel with you know the variables parameters and so on that's a similarity and then of course a details panel to you know configure each state so in terms of that they're very similar between the two right behavior trees and state trees but in this case they are organized in blocks rather than you know uh, nodes in a graph and so on so the first thing that we need to do is create a new state from the root so just you know select add state and now we're just gonna go ahead and just rename this to walking so this will be our walking state and let's go ahead and select this new state and now in the details panel what we can do is go ahead and set some you know things to do on this state because right now it is empty so what we need to do is add two tasks the first task that we need to do is go ahead and you know set a target location okay so in our zone graphs which you can see that there are kind of a few tasks with uh, zg meaning for zone graphs and um, there's one specifically which is find wonder target okay which is the one that we are going to uh, basically select and what this would do is you know find a specific target a specific location in our zone graph that we have or zone shape that we have in our level and you know mm, save it on a variable in this case let's just expand this expand this and let's set the tag on any text to be a civilian so it will detect the um you know some graphs that have the tag civilian um with that said we're good to go and it will give us this wonder target location okay you can see it has this out kind of mm, tag here which means that it will give us something so now with another task what we can do is actually move the entity to a specific location which will be the Z, uh, zg path follow and now the only thing i need to do is set the target location to instead of be this default one to be this zg find wonder uh, wonder target wonder target location which is the one that we get from this other task and of course it is very important to do this in this order so first of all it will you know get the location and then move into that point then we just need to leave this as default right using valid uh, speed just at one and there we go but there's one last thing that we need to do for this state, um, which we don't need to do in behavior trees. And it's basically said, you know, what we're going to do when this um, state ends, right? Which, when it is completed, we need a transition to another state. In this case, we're going to make it very simple. Just go to transitions, add a new transition, and basically on state completed, which is automatically selected uh, by default, we're going to go back to the root, okay? Which is again already selected, and it will just go and in a loop so with that said we can compile and save and we have this state tree completed now of course it is very simple but it was a nice introduction right cool so with that said we can now close this and we just need to add this state tree to our mass ai entity configuration so let's open this up which we built in the previous episode and we need to add a new trait so just add a new one and in this case we're gonna search for state tree and now we just need to expand this and select the one that we have just created. And with that, we're good to go. Now we can just save close. And if I go and press Alt S in my keyboard to press play, Unreal Engine will freeze and boom, here we go. We are having our entities 
moving around which is pretty cool so they will go ahead and pick a nice you know location and move around and of course they will kind of act with um, all of their uh, traits that we added in the previous episode you can see the smooth orientation is very noticeable when they reach kind of the end point you can see how smoothly they go ahead and turn over here there we go pretty cool right so that's nice but now of course we need to add some animations to this entities so how do we do this well just creating a new animation blueprint like we would use uh just do so let's just right click in the civilians folder go to animation blueprint and let's go ahead and select the mannequin skeleton so once again it is going to be the unreal engine 5 mannequin so just the one that says sk mannequin let's go ahead and just select this name this something as a b p underscore um civilian and let's open this animation blueprint up so let's just make it very simple what i am going to do is just get the idle jock blend space that we have uh built from our player blend space and let's just right click promote this to a variable and boom now we have this animation going on but of course we need to update this speed variable so we're gonna go into the event graph and basically on the uh, try get pawn owner we're going to get the velocity of the owner of this blue animation blueprint and then use the vector length node so we can you know just get a nice float and then in the update animation so at every frame we're going to be constantly going ahead and just updating this speed variable and with that we are good to go so i just need to go and open up the civilian you know ai blueprint and then select the mesh go to an m class and select abp civilian and now with that said we're good to go if we simulate again and wait a few seconds we should see that we go <laughs> okay so there there's a problem but you can see they're they're animating right but it is going very very slow why is this well that's because the animation the entities are moving at a certain speed and in the animation blueprint at that specific speed the animation goes very slow for a reason so what we're going to do is actually just create a quick new animation blend space for our ai so let's just right click go to where it will be um animation legacy blend space 1d so we only need one direction select the mannequin once again of unreal engine 5 and let's rename this to something as civilian plan space 1d let's open this up change the horizontal axis to speed and the max speed will be um well we can check this out on here so as you may remember the movement speed will be under here right on the configuration asset and it is 200 on and, and that's basically this max speed that um we can go so let's just put it here 200 and then we can just get the you know kind of walking animations and so on that we should have over here okay so in locomotion we have idle jogging sprint stop and so on so let's go ahead and just uh drag idle and then also drag uh walking so we're gonna set this here and walking will be at 200 i think and now with that we're good to go so we need to go back to the animation blueprint and just drag the civilian blend space and just you know uh, replace it right with this new one and with that said we are now good to go and we should see our civilians there we go animating with a much better speed now they're still kind of sliding a bit that's because they're walking a bit faster of what they should be walking at so you know we can kind of play around on here with the animation speed and so on so we can go to walking and the rate scale we could put it at 1.2 something like that right so it will be a bit faster but you know i will le uh, leave that for you right so you can experiment i think that um a bit more even i think at 1.5 will be better right basically we're changing the speed of the walk animation that's a bit better uh well another thing that we can do is also is decrease this to like you know whatever right 150 and leave this to 200 and then just you know go back to the animation blueprint leave this at just the rate scale of one and then just put this at uh like speed 40 go and put this at 100 and then put this at 100 
and that way we just changed the max speed of our AI so now yeah it looks a bit better so now the walk a bit slower but you know much um, more realistically good so with that said we are animating our animations uh, sorry we're animating our entities but there's one last thing that I want to do and it is that if right now I just go and press play like normal with my third person character blueprint right I can go and I can just press this um, bottom right next to my serial key okay so the one next to my serial key will be the one that you want and you can see all this cool information the thing right now is that they will basically bump into each other as you can see the mass AI kind of continues to go but the mesh stays there and so on so basically what we need to do is uh, create an avoidance okay so it just basically means um, going ahead and just uh, making them avoid me right so they can avoid other entities right but not the player right now so what we need to do is create another entity configuration for the player but this time will be a lot simpler so let's go to blueprint civilians right click go once again into our miscellaneous category create a data asset and we'll select once again like in the previous episode the mass entity configuration asset so now with that selected we can name this something as da for data asset and then uh player entity and now we're gonna go ahead and just open this up so the first thing that we will need is this trait which will be the agent capsule uh, collision sync so we will have uh, some collision for the player for the entities right and i'm going to change the sync direction from actor to mass and then we will need another thing which will be the navigation obstacle and that's it now with that said we can close this data asset go to the um player blueprint okay so let's open up bp player and then just add the mass agent component like with it with the civilian blueprint also and now just go ahead and open up entity configuration and select the player entity and with that said you will notice that the civilians will indeed go ahead and kind of avoid the player so they're spawning over there now if i press this apostrophe you will see a bit better and boom you can see that there are uh, they are basically avoiding me right so i go here and boom they turn <laughs> which is pretty damn cool so everything is going ahead and working like so so there we go so that's it guys so if you found this tutorial helpful i would really appreciate it if you can like the video and subscribe to my channel we only have full access to the project files through Patreon or YouTube members. Follow me on my socials, join my Discord server to me and to the devs. And now, with all that said, bye bye.